bad. There you go. And getting funky with his dance moves. In the Motor City, the 18,000 square foot joint. I got lost. I was like over in the West Wing. Taken, made in Detroit. Crazy place. Dairy, bakery, restaurant. It's like a brontosaurus burger. To a ridiculous level. So a local, it comes from the same address. Not bad. And in Chicago, the downtown Italian market. These are the only meatballs I eat other than my grandmother's. I'm gonna tell them. Please don't. Cranking out the flavors. Oh, did you hear the angels sing? Of the South Side. Melt your mouth tender. Crazy good. That's all right here, right now, on Triple D. I'm cruising through the downtown of Vancouver, British Columbia, just a few blocks from the water. Now, the business people in this area are looking for a quick lunch. The great thing about this corner is they can get a quick lunch that's also fresh, local, and wild. Fresh seafood? Oh, yeah. That does it. Oh, absolutely. We're literally a block away from the ocean. Finding organic food in a street truck is not easy. But chef and owner Josh Wolf wouldn't really call this a street truck anyway. I call it a restaurant that just happens to have wheels on it because this place is a permanent fixture on downtown Vancouver's Varan and West Hastings. So how'd you pick this corner? For me, it was really important to be in a spot where people do lunch. I want people who want to eat. No problem. Vancouver's a city that really believes in their food. Local food is something that's really important to us. So of course you gotta have the Canadian mashup poutine. How do you describe it here? Classic poutine, french fries, a beef gravy or brown gravy and cheese curds. But this poutine is the fresh, local, wild way. We're not gonna use brown gravy. We're gonna make seafood gravy, because I don't know if you noticed, but the ocean's two blocks away. I dig it, I dig it, and you got people starting to line up, so what are we gonna cook? Butter, we need a little bit of canola oil. We got our fat down, then we're gonna lay our base flavor layer down. Shallots, garlic, a little family okay with that? Ooh. Carrots, a little celery. Give them a little stir, we'll get them sweated down just a little bit. Now we're gonna hit them with the love. This is gonna get ridiculous. I know, I know, I know, I know. Clams going down. Now we need the liquid. Good old white wine. Bailey's, little aromatics. Black pepper, white pepper. Oh, coriander seed. Beautiful with shellfish. The Genève. You there. Fantastic. And uh, just to round out, a little bit of fresh thyme. Yeah. We're gonna seal the deal. Let them steam. Keep all the liquid in there. When okay. those clams start to open, we're gonna throw down our muscles because we don't want to overcook anything. We're gonna try and do it all right. Somebody has got to take all of his moves and put this to some disco music. He has got so much animation. I want to stay in alive. I want a little Bee Gees. We're gonna separate the liquid from the muscles and clams and we're gonna chill those down so we can handle them. Now these are cooled down to where you can handle them. Look at that beautiful muscle. So clams and muscles, shells back in. Shells back in. Next up, now we need something to put all those beautiful shellfish into. So we're gonna talk chowder. So really, we are making a chowder. Now we are making it. It's gonna go over fries. Absolutely. That's bacon, that's okay. smoked bacon. Pork belly, nice. Equal part onion, we're gonna start those melting down. We're gonna throw it in the same base flavors that we used. And we're gonna sweat all that out. So we're rendered down, we got enough fat in there. Now we'll add a little flour and build a roux. A little heavy cream. So you got the nice richness of the heavy cream working with the roux, but it doesn't have to be all heavy cream if you have a nice roux in there. We're going to use milk for the rest of that. So this is the liquor that we strained out from all the shells that we cooked. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. All right, so we're going to bring this up to a simmer. To serve this, we're going to take our portion of gravy. We're going to add those beautiful shellfish that we picked before. Start that much shellfish? No, why not? That's more shellfish than you get most seafood restaurants for a nice plate at $21.95. We'll tell everyone you know. All right, fries down, and that gravy nice and bubbly hot. We're gonna throw you a little car seat to finish it. Ladies and gentlemen, you are stepping in. Ridiculous zone. Look at the cascading deliciousness. Uh -huh. My friend, that looks dynamite. There you go. Now, how do you attack it? Just dump it right it's in there. It's a shovel bag. There you go. So I just, I wear it. I'm gonna try to do the old uh, chopstick french fry. There we go. That's one of the new methods. There we go. Mm. Delicate flavor, rich flavor, not over seasoned, super crunchy fries, and look at all the seafood. Look at that big muscle right there. Mm. I've had some crazy fries in my life, 
This is the first time I've ever had seafood fries and incredibly well done. Here we go, guys. I got those poutines you're dying for. In the world of poutine, this is absolutely delicious. What do you think makes it so good? Good quality food. Like, you can tell everything's made fresh. Fresh fish comes, a lot of it directly from the fishermen. There's boats coming in every day. You're a block away from the water. I am. I'm four blocks away from the Fisherman's Wharf. BC is known for some absolutely stunning oysters. These happen to be some of the biggest ones you can find. And he's piling them up po' boy style for a chicken fried oyster sandwich with trailer made tartar sauce. What are we making? Buttermilk. The buttermilk has a really nice acidity to it. A creamy acidity. A creamy acidity. Which, that's... Ma which, which mixes well with this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little of my favorite hot sauce. I know. Sriracha. Just a little. Maybe a little more. Okay. Oysters are going down. You take them, we right. marinate them? In the fridge. You gotta marinate. Okay. And then what are we gonna grudge them in? Just a little simple flour. All purpose flour. All the size of these things. Those are big boys. How many come in an order? Well, three, but I'm gonna eat one off the edge there while you're eating the sandwich. Oh, is that and how that's I'm, gonna work? I'm, I'm, I'm a little selfish right now. I'm thinking right. about me. And then we'll fry some oysters. Then we'll cook some oysters. Real Down simple. some canola oil. See those. Gorgeous. Ready? Pull them. Little salt at the end. Boom, we're gonna serve them up. Beautiful, soft, toasted bun. Tartar sauce on both sides. One, two, three. And one for me. All right. Romaine lettuce. I love shredded romaine lettuce on this one. Simple. That's all you. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. I know that look. Delicious. This is simple, it's rich, it's delicate. Nice tartar sauce to complement, and just a nice little crunch on the outside of a monster of an oyster. You killed it completely, ma'am. It's actually my favorite sandwich. The homemade tartar sauce is out of this world. What do you think? Mm. She's saying it's very delicious. Mm. The seafood's incredibly fresh. Is that correct? Yes. Congrats, man. You rock it out. Cheers. Thank Big you. time. Cheers. That's bananas. It's wild, ridiculous, and out of control. Or fresh, local, and wild. You call it. Coming up, we're headed to Midtown Detroit. Yeah. For scratch made brisket. We will load that sandwich up. And pork salad with a kick. Hot sauce jelly beans. Yeah, I'm glad that you explained it to people before they get it because I swear that's a cherry tomato. And then they would bite into it. I think they would be quite, quite alarmed. <laughs>